Alrighty. I've got to put that seat back in and I've just taken this one out. <laughs> what a bloody circus. Oh man, you know this little, look at the amount of bars and shit you got underneath here. Plenty of them. All different ones, all interlinked with these strange mechanisms. You know, and I'm sitting there with this little bar. That's a bit hard to see because it's on its back. And this is a shit camera as usual. There you can see. Little one with a little white dot on the top of it. Well, I'm at the back. And I'm sitting there, pushing and pulling and fidgeting with this damn bar. Couldn't get it to do bloody anything. Playing around for about 15 minutes. So then I come to the front side of the seat, put my arm right under the length of the seat, pull it, ding, pops up first try like it's done it every fucking day. Oh, God, boy. Anyway, I could work out how to get the front out because it's so close and you can see all the mechanism right in front of you, but even to get the seat to flip forwards like this, they're telling you on the instructions that are right on the base of the seat to uh, take the headrest off, but first of all, the seat sort of half swings forwards. This isn't a normal tab. Once again, we've got brilliant lighting, so I'll tip this forward a little bit and you might see what it is. Fuck this bloody phone, honestly. How fucking bad can you make digital cameras, honestly? The long and short of it is... <sighs> I'm sick of this fucking poxy-ass camera. I don't think you'll ever get to see it, but basically it's a little bit of strap. You can almost see it there against my fingers. So you pull that, and it sort of does this strange, like a half flip forward, almost like the back piece here sort of goes from being there to sort of just sort of toggles itself a bit or something. Then you've got this bizarre fucking multi direction or little. You can push from either side, and then, clonk, it comes down properly. And, uh, yeah. So if you're really enthused, and for whatever reason, it doesn't really make sense, <laughs> you've got old trays and shit on the back of this. Like as though you're going to sit a seat out the back of the vehicle and eat off of this. It makes sense for these ones, with the middle seats, because I've seen hand-drawn pictures of how these are supposed to turn around, but this particular one doesn't, but some in Asia, I believe it was an option, uh, and it actually says it in the manual, you're supposed to turn these around, use this one, which comes from here, and that one, similar thing on the back, as a table, so your front passengers and your back passengers use your middle seats as a table, but then explain to me how the hell it's on the very back seat, and you've only got like, another fucking foot and a half or whatever, it's even on this one, another foot and a half and, and bang, as, you know, there's your tailgate clip, very interesting also, <laughs> but you haven't got this L bus, it's the original plastic film, can't get it too well with my left hand, it was actually put on the seats, in the days of its manufacture, to protect the paint on the side of the seats. I'm not joking. It is still stuck on there. And that's coming off for the first time. <laughs> Just sort of had a bit of a rip tear previously. <laughs> I couldn't actually believe that was still on there. Not that it's terribly easy to get to, because it's all... Yeah, the sheet metal sort of goes flat under there. Which you once again probably have trouble seeing. I sort of like this phone for the fact it's good enough resolution but still low enough that I don't blow out massive size videos and uh, yeah internet costs here in Australia are ridiculous so yeah so anyway I'm going to go put that seat back in um, and take this out probably put that in the cardboard house or something 
uh, which you can probably see. No, you also can't see through the windscreen. Um, and uh, yeah, I sort of want the two seats there because I'm going to slot something through here. It's basically a giant tabletop that most likely, not guaranteed, but I wouldn't be terribly surprised if I end up using it for the actual bed base in this thing because it's a fairly decent size. And I've got to pick that up from work tomorrow. And it doesn't fit in the back of my usual wagon, so we take in the van. And I also made a bit of a diversion trip to a auto parts store um, and got myself uh, some more power steering fluid for this thing. This doesn't look terribly enthusing either. Ooh. Sort of going back to primer and going a little bit dodgy. Mmm. That might have to get a bit of a touch up at some point, I believe. <laughs> doesn't look good at all. Yeah. Anyway, sort of funny, you see some of the spot welds on this, they're not too bad around here, but some of the ones underneath, they've absolutely, they must have had the vaults or amps too high, and they've blown the shit out of it, like they've slammed it so hard, you've actually got a burr hanging off the edge of where the spot weld is. <laughs> so, so maybe they just wanted to make sure it was welded together, probably didn't want to take any fucking half ass chances of anything rattling to bits. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but anyway, these seats are not light, and uh, that other one's not too bad to get in and out. But you, it's it's sort of funny as it comes up, you sort of you can't just lift it directly straight, you know, up like that. You sort of got to like twist forward and lift at the same time, and then it'll pop out. But but I'll look at all of these little mounts here, and the first thing I say is, God damn, they need a vacuum down there. The more fucking crumbs. I think that one's got a bit of food down, that one. But the long and short of it is, these are great points to be mounting other things off. Like securing your bed base from moving around, securing your tables from, uh, or like your bench or whatever, from moving around. All these things, I ain't sticking any frickin' screws through anything. All I'm doing is probably going to use D-shackles around them to try and uh, give me a bit of, uh, you know, secureness. If I'm not incorrect. Oh, yeah. That one there, that's a baby seat anchor. So I think... I think my fingernails are too short. Um, there's another one that's back here. I might be over the top of it with this seat. Probably are. Uh, pull this way. Shit, it's got to be here somewhere. Ah, yeah. oh, damn. Shit on my hands now. There's the other one. That's an actual tab in there. Uh, ooh, there we go. It's actual like a bitumen base in it, but yeah. I think it hinges on that back there and should flick up. I might need a little screwdriver to get into the other one, but basically that's a tab there. Almost looks like the end of a seatbelt in the way. You know what I'm saying? Your little bit that clicks into your like basically like that. Um, so yeah, I still haven't worked out what the hell these tabs are supposed to be for. Never could work that out. But anyway, good to know. We've uh, got a couple of handles and things up on the roof here. With also some other strange little hook pieces on them. I guarantee you this will work. Bang. Yeah. I swear those lights are actually hardwired in, or something like that. I'll be fucked. Elvis, I hate to tell you something, but my van pays me. There's a fucking two dollar coin in there, I couldn't make this shit up. <laughs> 
Hang on a second, I might be able to get this out because I've got a screwdriver in here. I'll put one in the There many pockets in this thing. Fuck. There it is. It's up the back of the main glove box. <laughs> you know, you only got to check this one, this one, this one, cigarette lighter thingy, and the other one, and then finally you'll find what you're looking for. <laughs> Oh, is she coming? Okay. Whoa, that could do with the clean up. And there we go. Let's see if we can get that in some good light. That's basically a $2 coin. And amongst all the fucking cake crumbs. Wish I could show this a little bit better. <laughs> there you go, first time you fucking a van paid me, eh? <laughs>